Hello, and welcome to the USA Triathlon educational video. Today, we are going to teach you how to set up your transition area at your next race. When you first enter the transition area before the race, find your spot. Usually, race directors set up transition by numbers in sets of 10 to 20. Once you've found your spot, it's time to rack your bike. When racking your bike, try to alternate the direction of your bike from the person next to you. That way, everyone has enough room and the bikes don't get tangled when racing. You can rack your bike in one of three ways. By the back of the seat with the front wheel down. Most of the time you need a special seat to allow you to do that, but it is possible. By the front of the seat with the front wheel down, or by the handlebars or the brake levers. Just be careful when you rack your bike in this fashion so you don't mess up your bike's gears or brakes. After racking your bike, it's time to set up your gear. Place your helmet where you're most comfortable with it, either hanging from your handlebars of your bike by the straps of your helmet, on your air bars if you have them, or on the ground face up. Just be sure that you can easily flip the helmet onto your head without struggling with the straps. Next, place your bike and running shoes near your bike. Open them up enough and push the tongue of your shoe back and out of the way so you can easily slide your feet in and don't have to struggle when you're racing. Consider getting quick laces so you can easily slip your shoes on and off without having to tie and untie them. And also use body glide to allow your feet to slide in quickly and to prevent blisters. Place your sunglasses near your helmet or open in your helmet so you can easily slide them on your face. Putting the sunglasses on first and then your helmet. If you have a race belt, place it near your running shoes. Most races don't require you to wear your number on the bike, so you don't usually need it till the run. During the race, walking or running with your bike in transition can feel challenging at times. Just remember to keep your body near the center of your bike and hold it by the saddle or the stem. Be alert of other athletes around you. When dismounting your bike, make sure you know where the dismount line is before you start the race. Remember, you must dismount before the line or you will be penalized. To dismount your bike, control your speed and come to a complete stop before the line. The leg that is up is the one that will touch the ground first, so practice which foot you are most comfortable with touching the ground first. Then bring your leg over the top tube and place your other foot on the ground and head into your transition spot. Use these tips to remember where your spot is in transition. Before you race, count the number of racks from the entrance of bike in to your rack spot. Find a landmark. When you've set up your bike in transition on race morning, find a tree or a lamp post to remind you where your bike is. Use a bright colored towel and place it underneath your gear near your racked bike to look for. Have a bright pair of shoes. And lastly, walk transition before the race from start to finish. Find where you will enter from the swim, walk to your rack, and do the same when you enter off the bike so you can create a path in your head to visualize later. Once you've racked your bike and slipped on your race belt and running shoes, it's time to run to the finish line. We'll see you there.